hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome 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 we've been talking about love relationship relationship love but we also need to be careful of some things we also need to protect ourselves there are some things that you need to do immediately to protect yourself at home once you're done from the moment right so i'm going to tell you how i do things and how i think you should do things to protect yourself even if you have any with your boyfriend your partner or your husband we all need to take care of ourselves so today we are going to be talking about how we keep ourselves healthy after the moment all right ah! <laughs> There are some mistakes that we make after being in the moment sometimes we go extra mile just to keep ourselves safe and we do the things that can alter the healthy balance of our kitty so i'm going to tell you the things that you should do and the things that you should not do because i know that some of us will think that we are actually helping ourselves we go extra mile, want to be so clean. What we fail to understand or realize is that our kitty can take care of itself. But still, there are some things that you need to do so that you prevent it from contacting anything. This is how you're going to keep yourself safe after the moment. All right, so let's dive into the number one tip. So once you're done, the first thing that might be going on in your head is going into the shower and then taking a shower. But you don't necessarily need to hop out of bed immediately, the next second. But the next 0 to 10 minutes, you are supposed to hop into the shower and take care of yourself. So this tip is wash up. You don't have to like immediately, you're just jumping into the bathroom, right? I think it's still better that you can just gist a little and just give yourself like 10 minutes before you hop into the shower. So let me tell you how you're going to do the wash up because some of us do it the wrong way. When you wash, it can actually protect men and women from infection. You're basically washing with plain warm water. Let me assume that this is your kitty. Here is where you have close to the stomach. This is your kitty area. Then how you're going to wash is just use plain warm water to wash up here just just here at the surface you don't have to wash inside of it the inside can take care of itself so you don't need to worry about it okay that is how you wash your kitty with plain warm water you don't even need a soap if you will be needing a soap just make sure that you go with unscented soap right otherwise you don't even need it the water will do the justice then for guys let's assume this is your joystick that is sticking out from here all you need to do is to raise it up and wash around because something might be hiding underneath make sure you wash around very well with plain warm water as well you don't even need soap and then wash off the surface gently you don't need to be so hard on it because it's very sensitive and the skin layer there is very soft so you need to go gently don't do it you don't need to clean the inside some of us think we need to clean inside our kitty after they do with prepackaged fluids and soap but doching can lead to more infections that is because it affects the natural balance of the bacteria that protects the kitty so when you wash inside you are affecting the bacteria that is there to take care of your kitty. The best way to take care of your kitty after the moment is to leave it alone. It naturally cleanses itself. Also keep in mind that a mild smell is normal and you don't need to worry about it. It is not a problem because after the do, it might affect the scent of your kitty at that moment. Within the space of 24 hours, the smell of your kitty might change. It is because of the dew, because of the moment, which is naturally supposed to balance itself and go back to its normal scent. So if you notice any mild smell after the dew, just know that it is caused by the dew. So just leave it 
the bacteria there is going to take care of the kitty my third point is keep clean up simple along with doches different drug stores offer a lot of creams spray wipes that they claim to help freshen up your private area some of them are made with harsh soaps detergent lotions shampoos sprays that might cause your skin to break out just stick to a gentle rinse with warm water after the moment and avoid scented tampons pads sprays wipes avoid them they are not really necessary for your kitty area this point is very important of a point empty your bladder during the moment bacteria might enter the tube that carries urine out of your body that can raise your chances of an infection when you pee you flush those germs out so enjoy some cuddle time with your partner then head to the bathroom comes back to why i said you don't need to just rush into the bathroom to wash up you can just give yourself five to ten minutes with that time you're trying to cuddle to know if pee can actually come out you pee before you do the cleanup or while doing the cleanup if it comes in handy then you pee right there and then after you're done with peeing or washing whichever one that comes first what you need to do is to clean you need to keep yourself dry you don't need to leave that place moist if you want to dry make sure you wipe from front to the back just like this this is the front and you wipe from here to back you don't need to wipe from back mm -mm. you're taking something from there rather take something from here to here because here is really really sensitive and you need to take care of this place very well another tip is to drink a glass of water not really a glass but just take water it's very very important even if you peed in the first place you still need to take water since it's a good idea to pee just try and take a lot of water it's going to help to flush out more bacteria i am sure that you understand the message that i just passed this is taking care of yourself your body you know that you need to take care of the bed that is actually also part of sex hygiene you can change the duvet the bed sheet even if he didn't come on top of it maybe water came out of your body and dropped there what you need to do is to change that bedsheet. In fact, you need to wash it. You're not leaving it for the next day. No, 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 no. No. We want to take care of ourselves. We want to be healthy all round. So make sure you take care of the bed, right? As you're taking care of your body, take care of the bed as well. This is a very simple one. You don't need to buy any expensive whatever. All you just need is warm water and then drinking water. That is all you need to take care of yourself. So this is a very cheap one we need to take care of ourselves we need to be clean as the ladies that we are we need to know how we take care of ourselves being clean and sweet is not all just on the outside wearing clean clothes and then your skin popping we need to take care of ourselves inside we are actually preventing so many things from happening we are actually preventing spending so much money on diseases and sicknesses I want everyone to know how to take care of themselves so that's why this channel talks very well on hygiene I have some of my hygiene tutorials which I left the link on the description box which I think you might want to see if you're a man or a woman I have a hygiene that would do you real good that would do real good for your personal area so dive into the description box check the links that are there and know the video that will suit you and make sure you check them out if you have any question do not do not forget to leave a comment down there below in the comment section i'm going to answer your questions personally if you've not yet subscribed please do consider clicking on that red subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so that youtube will notify you whenever i upload a new video if you found this video helpful and enjoyable don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up hit that like button because when you do it actually helps me to know the things that you like and things that you do not like 
so that next time I'm creating any video, I will know the kind of information to bring to your doorstep. Till then, let me see you in my coming video and my comment section.